Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Hello, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you and I appreciate you. I wanted to give y'all a special, special thank you. I got my 2020 review from YouTube. Um, because it's been a year. I've been with YouTube a year. I have 3,500 subscribers who I love dearly. I thank you guys so much because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. My review was pretty good. So I just want to say thank you. I really do. Um, Don't forget I still got the special going on until the end of December. 20 bucks for a reading. I'm going to do something special for you guys on Christmas Eve. I will keep you on an update, you know, on what it is. So, guys, we're here doing a video for Aries. This is for the third week of December, okay? This is a general reading. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, I've already shuffled sage, prayed over the cards, laid them down for time purposes. Now, your overall energies from the love messages, oracles, is you got support here. Lean on your inner circle during this time. And then you have intuition. You already know the answers that you seek. And then you have patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. So obviously it looks like you guys are going through something and you need to listen to your intuition and just be patient. Don't take, don't try to take control of the situation. Just be patient because there is things going on behind the scenes in this situation here. Looks like someone wants a second chance. We have second chance on the top of the deck. And this is, this relationship deserves a second chance. And then underneath that, you got fate. I just told y'all, things is going on behind the scenes in this situation. This is a destined partnership. Wow. But it looks like, Aries, somebody is ready to leave this situation here. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Five of Cups and the Five. Yeah, the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Somebody is regretting leaving a situation here. Someone definitely wants to go to Karma Waters with you with this Six of Swords. But somebody's been hurt. Somebody has stepped away because they hurt with this Three of Swords. This is betrayal. This is someone stabbing you in your back. This is great sadness. So somebody has stepped away because they need to meditate, pray, and um, get themselves together because this was too much for somebody, y'all. We got death at the end of the tarot deck. Death card. Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Some of y'all are definitely in, possibly just a Scorpio that you're dealing with with the death card here. You guys are stuck. You feel mentally stuck here because somebody was juggling. So, wow, you got the three of swords here twice. Someone was definitely juggling you, Aries. Could have been a water sign that hurt you. This king of cups here. Possibly wasn't even expressing their feelings at all. But they do have feelings for you. They do definitely got feelings for you. They got love for you. Here you are, the Queen of Wands. You're being very passionate about something. You're taking, you took action. You took action on this situation. I believe this is you walking away. Or the water sign walked away. I don't know. We got the chariot here. You're determined to move forward. The will of fortune. Something is destiny. It's destined here. This is good luck. This is good fortune. This is things moving in your favor, Aries. They're going to move in your favor. We got the four swords here again. You have to take a step back in this situation. And then, guys, y'all had three cards that fell. And they fell in the upright on the floor. And I don't really like to take cards on the floor, but they fell in the upright. So I was like, I got to take these cards. They, they need to be. And you got temperance again. Remember, you have patience. This is temperance. Be patient. Let things unfold, you know, 
in, di in, di in divine timing. Because universe, whoever you pray to is working on this situation. This is you getting your balance, this temperance card. And then you had the six of cups. So either you or the person that you're dealing with is reminiscing about, you know, the past. This is somebody in your past that wants to return to you. This is definitely a soulmate that you could be dealing with. And then you have lovers. This is a very spiritual connection, soulmate spiritual connection that you're dealing with. So, I mean, you know, with the lovers, you could be dealing with a Gemini that was possibly juggling you. Doesn't have to be, but just saying what that sign is. You got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio on this table. Leo, Sag, Aries. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I see right now. So let's go ahead and clarify, Aries, and see what else we get for you. Universe. Angels. Ancestors. What other information do you have for Aries? Why is this Three of Swords here? Why is this Three of Swords? Somebody definitely wants to offer an engagement here. Someone definitely wants to offer an engagement here. But, Aries, you already know what it is that you need to do. Who's that? You already know what it is you need to do. You use your intuition. Why is the Three of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Somebody definitely ended something. This is somebody, y'all been going through something for a while in this situation. And with the Ten of Swords being here, this is, I mean, deep betrayal. I mean, it looks like somebody stabbed you in the neck. I mean, just, wow. You, you possibly decided that you want to be single with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. But somebody's rushing in, possibly to start some drama with you. Now, they want to let you know that they want a new beginning and they want the stability with you. Mm-hmm. You're being strong. You, you, you're taming your emotions and all of that, but I don't know. We got the star card and temperance here. Universe is bringing this back together. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius. But somebody is hoping, wishing, and praying on this situation. Because they regret what they did to you, Aries. Or this could be what you did to somebody else, Aries. I don't know. Who is the King of Cups? Yeah. Maybe something is at a standstill right now. Somebody's trying to get a different perspective. Somebody's trying to get enlightened on a situation. But something is at a standstill. Something is not moving, but it's going to be moving, y'all. It's going to be moving. Yeah, somebody had to take a step back and do some soul searching. Go within and find out some more information. They could be definitely spying on you too, Aries. They could definitely be spying on you. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? We have the Queen of Cups. So there's possibility that, oh, yes, we already know that there was a third person here because we, we got two queens here on the table. But Aries, you got a lot of love for this person. You got a lot of love for this person. Why is the Queen of Cups and, and the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands here? Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely wants to offer you something, but they're taking their time. They possibly, yeah, something is at a standstill. They're taking their time. And this could, be, this could be one reason why you're like, uh, I don't know. This person is taking their time to act like they don't want to offer me what I deserve. But somebody's about to take action here. Somebody's definitely about to take action here. We got the Ace of Pentacles here. Somebody's about to offer you this this new abundant beginning. Universe, you also universe is offering you abundance here too. Some of you guys could be moving. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here with the Knight of Pentacles? Page of Swords. I just told you somebody's watching you. They definitely watching you. Why is the Chariot here? Yeah, some of you guys are definitely moving, and you are, some of you guys are moving away from all of this competition, this fussing, this arguing. This jealousy. Y'all moving away from that. 
Why is the Five of Wands here with the Chariot? Why is the Five of Wands here with the Chariot? OMG, y'all got the Temperance card here three times. Three times. You guys are definitely healing from this situation. You're healing from this situation. You need to really use your intuition. I think you guys should possibly make a heart overhead decision, okay? Because y'all, you love this person and this person loves you. Yeah, somebody made a mistake here. Somebody made a mistake here and somebody's not giving up on this situation. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? It's definitely going to go in your favor. You got the Six of Wands. Somebody wants victory, that's for sure. This is success. This is somebody wanting some attention. This is you getting a lot of attention, Aries. You're getting a lot of attention here. Why is the Six of Wands here with the... Uh, too many cards, guys. Why is the Six of Wands here with the Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Six of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune? You you getting some, some victory and something. You're going to have a lot of options. Maybe somebody was confused at one point in time because they had options. And somebody did go after those options. Aries, you got the Queen of Wands here on this table. And you have the and the and the and the and king and the king of wands, okay? This is you guys are very passionate about each other. You guys are in love with each other, okay? This is a soulmate connection here, okay? If y'all believe in that twin flame situation, because it looks like that's what this is too. You got the high priestess, and and somebody's about to take action here. Somebody's definitely about to take action on this situation. Whoever you dealing with, Aries, whoo we y'all on the same page, pretty much. Y'all love each other, and y'all got a whole lot of passion for each other. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? We have the Queen of Swords. So somebody's thinking about, and I believe this is your energy, Aries, you know, taking on the Queen of Swords. You know, not accept, cutting out things that no longer serve you. I believe this is you. Okay, I really do because you took a step back and you have to examine some things and you're like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with it. Ooh, the queen of pentacles. OMG, where the empress at? Because <laughs> we got all the queens here. And there's, a, there's another another thing I'm, see, I'm hearing here too. Yes, your person was dealing possibly with more than one female. Okay, that's a possibility. And that's possibly why you cutting this out. Yep. Three of swords. Yep. This was another this was the other person, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, that your person was dealing with. We got the seven of pentacles here. So your person was investing in other people. Bottom line. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Yep, you definitely dealing with a twin flame. We got the four of wands here. One one. Eleven eleven. This person wants stability with you, though. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here for her? Six of Cups is clarifying the Six of Cups. <laughs> this person. This is definitely someone you're dealing with somebody in your past that's in love with you. Okay? They are in love with you. Why is Temperance here? We have. You are their wish fulfillment. You are definitely their wish fulfillment. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Pentacles because somebody is giving to two people here. Possibly still. Looks like possibly still giving to two people. But somebody wants to wants to give that giving that giving um that equal give and take situation. Somebody does want that. And somebody wants to work on this situation. And and hey, remember, you got the fake card. Something is destined here. This is a destined partnership. So maybe some of y'all going to work on it. I don't know. But let's get some advice here. The advice you got here, like I told y'all, y'all got y'all are very passionate about this person. You got the fiery climax approaches. And then you have have faith in your dreams here. Don't let your past hold you back. Emotions are running high. This is possibly why you need support from somebody so that you can communicate, you know, with someone. And, and this is a time for healing. A time for healing. 
So Aries, if this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.